Hello and welcome to a video on how to use Sugi with the Sakai Learning Management System. And uh, Sugi works with lots of different learning management systems and you can look at our how-to documentation uh, for the various ones, but in this one I'm going to talk about Sakai. So I'm going to be following these instructions here that are on the Sugi Cloud website and I'm going to show you uh, two different use cases. Okay, so, um, so I'm going to go to the App Store and I'm going to sign into the App Store and log in with my Google account. Now I'm going to log in with a, an Edu account. Um, Sugi is currently configured uh, to give out LTI keys instantly. Um, normally it sends email and you have to be approved, but if you end with an EDU, then uh, you get it instantly. So here are all the tools, and uh, you need an approved LTI key to uh, use these in your learning management system. So uh, I'm going to ask for a learning management system key and I'm going to do a key request. Um, we'll ignore that one because that's one I did before. Uh, I'm going to say I would like a demo key and chances are good that you're going to want an LTI1 key uh, for demo purposes. Okay, so this is submitting request. Now, you this key is instantly approved you can get an email. If you're not an EDU on the list of instant approval uh, uh, email domains, then it, you have to wait until the email comes that gives you the key. But in that key, you have uh, in that mail, you have a key and a secret, and you can see it here online. So this is my key and secret. I'll delete these later. Um, and so you have to know these keys and secrets, and then there is some documentation on how to use it. Um, so if I go back to my documentation, there's a couple of different sources of documentation. One is here and another is here in the App Store under Settings, Keys, Using Your Key. So this is how you use your key in Sakai. Um, and so there's a couple of different places. And so let me just show you how you run through it. So here is my key information and here is the URLs, etc. And so I'm going to go to our Nightly. It's, uh, it's called Nightly, N-I-G-H-T-L-Y dot Sakai Project dot org. And there are various servers that get reset all the time. And so I'm going to go to our latest Sakai uh, running the MySQL database. I'm going to make a new account. CSEV So I will What is okay the passwords match we're going to create an account and now we are logged in and So I'm going to make a course site. I'm just going through all this stuff so that you can uh, See how to do this. I'm going to create a course site project site. I'm going to call it Sugi Fun. Continue. And I am going to put a gradebook and our lessons tool in there just, just to get just enough to work. Um, and now I am going to publish it. So I have the Sugi Fun site. I'm going to favorite it. So, okay, it's already favorited. So here we are. We're in our lessons tool. Um, and so this is our lessons tool. I'm going to go into site information and I'm going to add an external tool. And if I look at this, these instructions right here, so in lessons tool, select external tools, install this as an LTI one and check the content item. So I'm going to copy this and I am going to go into here to install a tool. Um, App Store App Store the URL and then from here the key and the secret that. Copy the secret and I'll 
set a few permissions and um, tick this box that says that the it's done a few automatic things for us and to allow this because this is actually a store. So if we see that this is what uses a, a thing called IMS content item or deep linking and it makes it the whole store is installable. You can install according to these instructions. Where were we? Yeah, according to these instructions, you can also pull in an individual tool. And so there are these URLs that you just put in. But for now, we're going to follow these instructions and put in the whole store. So that was the URL I put in, the store URL. And I'm indicating with these two checkboxes that it is a store. Okay? And now I'm going to save it. So now I'm going to go into the Lessons tool and I'm going to ask to add content, a learning application. Now your, this is the latest Sakai. The, you might have to go all the way down to add external tool, but they, in the latest Sakai we have a thing that goes straight to app stores. So we can go here and like, okay, let's put this app store in and let's install a course map. This is Sugi Cloud right here, inside here, and away we go. And so now we have installed a course map and I can change my course location. So there you go. That was a simple example of how to install a Sugi application into Sakai. Thanks for watching.